Hi guys, as you guys know, I'm a Kung Fu student. I'm not a master in any way, I just train there a little bit. And I actually like to see shows that represent Kung Fu on TV correctly. You know, a lot of shows they represent it, but they don't really do it well. The actors don't know it, the martial arts directors don't know it, the story writers don't know it, the themes are not discussed. You've got stories like Iron Fist, Kung Fu Panda, Mortal Kombat that kind of just use it almost for humor, which is not just wrong, it's borderline racist. So with that in mind, we kind of have to respect the TV shows that actually show martial arts correctly. So these are five TV shows that if you watch them, you will actually learn about martial arts. Number one, Cobra Kai. This modern day spinoff of the 1980s movie classic is amazing. There's been a lot of talk about how it kind of just copies Japanese culture and doesn't have any Asian American stars, and that's true. However, this show actually does show tremendous respect for the cultural things. It talks about the philosophy, the role of martial arts in personal growth. It talks about actual karate moves that actually shows you how to perform them. It treats the cultural aspects of it as respect, not just a simple plot device. Therefore, Cobra Kai gets a thumbs up for me at least on its depiction of martial arts. Next up, number two, Black Sash. This 2003 TV series that only lasted for like three months was amazing. It starred an actual Kung Fu practitioner in Russell Wong, who by the way trained at the same temple where I train, and he was amazing in it. The story talks about themes like finding balance within your personal and your emotional life, using that to recover from past trauma, finding balance with your family and your students. He struggles with it himself, the main character, and he also brings it forward into his students. And the greatest thing about it is that all the things they actually teach about martial arts, they're not glamorized. The way they train in the dojo is actually how people train in Kung Fu temples. Number three, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2003 version. Yeah, it's goofy, yeah, it's a kid's show, yeah, it's about turtles who learn from a rat. But at the end of the day, it actually shows a lot of things about martial arts. There's genuine techniques there, and they even talk about the lesser common things like breathing techniques or using martial arts to find balance with your emotional stability. There's a lot there in terms of actual martial arts behind the kitty cover. You'd be surprised that it's probably not the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles show in terms of animation or overall story or even the fight scenes, but in terms of martial arts themes, it is definitely at the top. Number four, Into the Badlands. Into the Badlands is an amazing story because it actually shows what happens when the world loses any concept of peace from within. The main character, Sunny, played by Daniel Wu, actually uses minimal movement in his fights, relying instead on his opponent's strip which is a concept that's crucial to martial arts and was popularized by Bruce Lee in Jeet Kune Do, the style that he developed. It's also great to see an actual show where the, even the episodes are named after real-life martial arts forms. So really, just by looking at the fights, you can learn so much about real martial arts. Number 5, Avatar The Last Airbender. The show is an absolute classic at this point, and everything except the movie is loved by fans and non-fans alike. Avatar The Last Airbender is clearly inspired by the old martial arts movie genre, Wuxia, which mixes magic and martial arts. But at the same time, it also shows some things that are very, very realistic. The role of martial arts in war, using martial arts to find the discipline that saves you from war, using martial arts to end oppression of oppressed groups and women and people that are tortured. At the end of the day, martial arts is a way of life for many, many people because it helps them survive harsh realities. And Avatar The Last Airbender shows those harsh realities really, really well. So that's it. Five shows that if you watch them, you can learn something genuine about martial arts. They're also incredibly enjoyable and I think you're going to like them. Go ahead and hit the comment button. And be sure to leave your thoughts below, hit that like button and that subscribe button, and be sure to chat with me on Twitter at Pakistani Pepper. This is Pakistani Pepper, saying stay peppery. And as always, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have a good day, guys.